Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to another Dragon's Trove uh, box opening. Um, wanted to show you real quick, this is just a last, in the last video I'd mentioned my used dice bin. Well, here's one I down in my sort of spare stuff that I had gotten. So, into it it goes. I have another box of this stuff around there. Fun. Starting to pile up. But, um, that's just more for funsies. Um, anyway, we got some boxes that have come in, uh, and I'm, I'm going to try to keep this a little shorter than nor the last few, um, really because uh, I think 10-15 you know, minutes videos are fine, but uh, I, I need to more or less just burn through some of these boxes to open them up and get them inventoried. So I'm going to start off here by some of the I put smaller lots that have been coming in bought over the last week or so. This was one lot I picked up. Nothing, not a great value, uh, not a great purchase price on it, but it's still items I needed. So this person did a very nice packaging job, and I appreciate that because when stuff arrives damaged, it just stinks. It's one of those things. All right, this lot is some of the AD&D first edition reprints from a few years ago, the Gygax reprints. Uh, we got the Player's Handbook and the Monster Manual, still unopened, so those are brand new. DM Guide is open, but in pretty good shape, almost nowhere. And then a nice copy of the Fume Folio. Um, very nice, very clean, almost no corner wear. This is a nice, nice, pretty copy of the Fume Folio. So, a uh, couple, couple uh, items that are getting a little harder to find. Those reprints. Uh, there are Gygax Memorial reprints that uh, Wizards of the Coast did, and I thought they were really well done. The whole series of those that they did, and. Um, kind of disappeared really quickly too. They were they were around and then they were all gone. You know, they were limited edition, so that they weren't gonna last forever. Um, that's what it is. Alright, this one's gonna be a little difficult to get out. There we go. Alright. Got a Powers and Perils box set from Avalon Hill. Really nice, clean condition. Um, these don't come around that often. Oh, still got the dice and everything. Um, yeah, basically unused, no staple rust. A little bit of scuffing on the cover. Ooh, nice, nice uh, early uh, 1983-ish um, Avalon Hill. Um, small. Uh, Small couple supplements that were done for that. It definitely has a decent rep for the game. Alright, this next one. Ah, cool. So, continuing our limited edition, we've got. Premium reprints for the 3.5, so this is the Player's Handbook Premium Reprint. DM Guide Premium Reprint. And the Monster Manual to complete the set of Premium Reprints for 3.5. And these also kind of disappeared really quickly and they were around, and I, I mean, I think they just did a really nice job on the reprint of them, so. I don't remember what they retailed for, but they're definitely a, a nicer, nicer item. And let's see here. I think this is just a single book. And another great pack job. Sometimes they come in and they are like those vanilla folder-esque mailers that don't have any padding on them, there's nothing around the books, you know, 
I can just cringe. Like uh, I've gotten, I got a, sla a Scourge of the Slave Lords module a while back, and literally had no protection whatsoever on it. It was just thrown into one of those envelopes. The clasp was hitting on the back cover and scuffing it up, and the corners were getting dinged in the entire transit system. So, uh, Vampire Third Edition, well, you know, Second Edition Revised, Third Edition kind of, um, really nice and clean. Um, did not have one of these in stock, so I uh, added that just because I needed it. All right. Uh, which do we do here? I got Let's do one of the boxes of that ongoing collection that we're working on here. Looks like a bunch of hardcovers. We got 3.5 DM's Guide, Traps and Treachery 2 from Fantasy Flight, it's a map to something, Monster Manual 2, 3.0, Dungeon Master Guide, two of those for 3.0, Creature Collection 3 from, Swords and, uh, from White Wolf, Swords and Sorcery, 3.5 Player's Handbook, nice shape. Kingdoms of Calamar Atlas, Kingdoms of Calamar Core setting, Traps and Treachery uh, 1, Monster Manual 2, Magic Item Compendium, Complete Arcane, and Castle Worn at Greenwood, uh, Margaret Weiss. That's it. So just some random card covers, nothing huge there. Some maps, I'll have to figure out where those go. All right, and last box we're gonna do today. This one's a cool one, just showed up this morning. And I really had been hemming and hawing about buying this one. It's been on eBay for a bit. Uh, probably some of the collectors have seen this one on that eBay. And we're probably like me saying, oh, I don't know, I don't know, it's a lot of money to buy it. I'm going to take the heck out of this. It's a really small box, though, so it can't be anything too, too cool, right? It's such a small box, it can't be anything too cool. Oh, it's even smaller inside, so what do you think? Now, this is not the rare item, but this is, these are cool nonetheless. What we have here is a nice little collection of the 21st century reprints of the first edition books. Um, all the hardcover ones, they didn't have any of the box sets, which you, know, you almost never see those, but they do get the these from time to time. Boy, they really sell a thing to tight. There we go. Now we got it. So we got a nice little run of these. Uh, Player's Handbook, DM Guide, Oriental Adventures, Greyhawk, Legends of Moor, Unearthed Arcana, Dragonlance, Manual of the Plains, Wilderness and Dungeoneer Survival Guide, Fiend Folio, Monster Manual 2, and Monster Manual 1. So a nice collection of those D&D 21st century reprints that they did what, late 90s, early 2000s. I can't remember exactly when they were. But uh, Italian company did these little reprints and um, they uh, were uh, pretty popular um, and are especially popular now with collectors because you just don't see them that often anymore. Anyway, uh, quick video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, share, and subscribe. And see you on the next one.